Hi YouTube, I'm Jack, a surgical trainee in the UK and welcome to ENT Bites. Today I'll be talking about why COVID-19 causes loss of smell or anosmia. Smell loss has been recognized as a symptom of COVID and this has been reported in anywhere from one in three people all the way up to two in three people or even more. The sense of smell is important not only for enjoying food, but also as a safety measure. Uh, for example, you wouldn't be able to smell smoke uh, or a gas leak or even food that's gone off. In order to understand why COVID causes a loss of smell, we'll be talking about firstly how we smell, then the other causes of a loss of smell, thirdly theories as to why COVID causes a loss of smell, fourthly how long this loss of smell can last, finally some treatment options uh, that have been suggested uh, in the scientific literature. In order to smell, food, in this case a fairly pungent bread, produces smell molecules and these float about in the air. The smell molecules travel to the nose where they are sniffed in and they go up to the top part of the nose which is known as the olfactory cleft. Here there are uh, smell receptors or olfactory receptors where the smell molecules attach and are recognized and then from there electrical signals are sent down neurons or nerves into what's known as the olfactory bulb uh, and then down the olfactory tract to the rest of the brain and that's how we detect smell. Smell loss has many causes however these can be broadly split up into conductive or blockages and sensory neural or nerve issues. The conductive causes of smell loss uh, include anything that causes a blockage of the nose that can be for example having hay fever or a cold that causes the inside of the nose to swell up and become blocked or even having a change in the structure of the nose causing the blockage uh, of the nose. Sensory neural causes of smell loss include anything that can cause damage to the nerves. These include for example after having a virus such as a cold or any other kinds of virus. Certain problems with nerve health, for example neurodegenerative diseases, this includes things like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Any head injuries can cause injuries to the nerves as they pass through what's known as the cribriform plate, which is a plate of bone with some small holes in it for the nerves to travel through. They can be sheared if that happens. And there are other rarer causes such as any heavy metals or, or lumps growing around that area. So nobody knows why COVID-19 causes smell loss exactly. However, there are a few theories around. Uh, I've put a link into one uh, particular study uh, of interest. If you think of the COVID-19 virus being surrounded by these proteins, um, essentially proteins are tools that the um, virus or e indeed any living cell can use for certain purposes. These proteins can be thought of as being like keys to locks. And these locks are very specific locks that only fit certain keys. This study looked at which cells contain these particular locks and therefore are susceptible to COVID-19 entering the cells and uh, potentially damaging them. In this case, they found them in parts of the, called the upper respiratory tract, which is nose, throat, and um, top of the windpipe. In particular, they were found uh, around not the cells that have the receptors for smell, but the supporting cells that help to uh, to nourish them and keep them alive. And the theory follows that if these supporting cells are damaged, then the cells that do detect the smell are also damaged. However, it seems that they must recover at some point because that's what we're seeing uh, in the general population. Now, I've been asked in real life and also on my YouTube channel, um, how long it can take for your sense of smell to recover after COVID. Uh, I've also asked this myself when I lost my sense of smell um, during COVID. I've linked two different sources that have uh, looked at these through observational studies. The first study is one of the studies that really pushed for loss of smell and taste to be recognized as symptoms of COVID. And in this study, 382 patients completed surveys when they had COVID and also a week later. What was found is that about 80% of patients reported that their sense of smell improved after a week from losing their sense of smell due to COVID. The other study was mentioned uh, in the ENT UK guidance for patients with COVID and it found that at four weeks after losing their sense of smell, about half of the patients completely recovered their smell, 40% improved their smell and 10% reported no improvement of their smell. If, like me, you lost your sense of smell due to COVID, 
These figures are quite encouraging, as it means that there is a chance that the sense of smell will come back, and a good chance at that. The treatments for uh, smell loss related to COVID have been suggested by uh, ENT UK, the um, membership body for ENT surgeons in the UK, uh, and I've included it in the link below. Uh, these include methods that don't involve medications and those that do involve medications. The methods that don't involve medications, um, or also known as conservative methods, would include uh, either doing nothing, uh, so smell loss due to COVID often improves on its own without doing anything. Uh, however, the other thing that can be tried is something called smell training or olfactory training, which I did myself for a period of a month. Uh, you can check that out in a, one of my previous videos. The medical treatments for smell loss due to COVID uh, are not really supported by that much evidence. Um, for example, you have op options of steroids, either sprays or drops to the nose or tablets. The tablet steroids are not supported by much evidence for losing a sense of smell. The steroid nose drops haven't really been uh, recommended in the early period after losing your smell. However, if you have, for example, runny nose or hay fever, um, then it may be helpful just to treat those with uh, nasal steroids anyway. Thanks for watching the video today. As I said, please see my other videos where I try smell training myself, uh, which I found uh, accompanied my improvement in my sense of smell. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe uh, and all of that. Take care.